I'm live. Hello, YouTube land, everyone. I'm a little bit late because my honey told me he was going to go for a run and then come back and mow the lawn, but he decided it's too hot to mow the lawn today, so he wanted to come in. He was eating lunch and uh, going to do a few things around here, and I needed to wait until he was uh, done with that before I could go live. So here I am, finally live, going to give you a few updates. And I put my eyes on so I can see who's coming in here. Bliss Bliss. Yay. I made it. Hello, Bliss Bliss. Hello. Brenda Duncan. She's back after my, after my announcement that I was going live in a few minutes. I hope I'm not buffering. The TVs are off so that we're not pulling um, the live the streaming from the internet elsewhere. From Florida, I love gardening too. Yay, I do too. I'm not doing great with my garden. Two confessions here. I think we're traveling too much and the weather's been crazy. We've had flooding and uh, then 100 degrees and then days and days and days and days of flooding, tons of rain. So it's been a little difficult. And then we traveled and you can't travel and keep a good garden unless you got people to help for you. Okay, hello Rosemary. Here too, so hot, hot, hot. Yeah, it's hot here today. That's why my honey's not doing the lawn today. Hello from Tennessee, retired and prepping says. Nina, nice to see you here, hon. Thank you for your letter. I don't know if I thanked you for that before. It was weeks ago, but thank you for that. Okay, well. I was gonna, I said come on for coffee, but it's too darn hot for coffee, so I've got iced tea in my mug. Hello, Albany Mountain. I'm doing really well. Thanks, hon. So, I was gonna update you on a few things. Just a little gap session for us girls. Unless some fellas sneak in here, but um, I'm gonna show you first what I made last night. Uh, I noticed yesterday that my bananas were getting a bit aged. <laughs> and uh, they were starting to um, bring some fruit flies in. So I said, it's time to make banana bread. But I thought about it way too late. I was up till midnight making banana bread. So drinking coconut water, Allie says. Hi, Allie. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I think if I can, does this do it? Yes. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around and Loosened up my gizmo here so I can, there. Followed your bathroom. I know you are, I'm gonna show you my bathroom in a minute too because I'm gonna show you my soaps. Okay. And under here, ta-da, my banana bread. So that's what I made last night. I was making that, we've been snacking on it. It's pretty good. So you know, when bananas look the worst, make the best banana bread. When they look like you shouldn't even been eating them, that's <laughs> really good bread don't you think I did a video before making banana bread and I actually cut out the bad parts because I didn't want people yelling at me because it looks so terrible but then others were agreeing with me they were saying Susie put it in it makes it taste good and it's true the blacker they are the better the banana bread so that banana bread is good because those bananas were way past prime all right now it looks like it's looks like it's hesitating to me. I hope I'm not lagging and buffering. But I'm going to show you over here my soap. The soap I made with Tara when I went out to Colorado to be with her. So let me pick you all up, bring you over here. All right. This came out really well. I was so pleased that Tara helped me make this, taught me how to make soap. We uh, made a loaf of soap. Let me bring it up so you can see the colors. We made it to match my new bathroom. I might be able to darken it just a touch there. Got grays and pinks and whites, and then it's got all this fluffy, it's even got a little sparkle on the top. I don't know if you can see that, but mm, it smells good. It's got a pomegranate uh, scent on it. And Tara was a great teacher. Tara from uh, Living on a Dime. She has a soap class, and there's a link below if you're interested in checking out her soap class. 
uh, of course her cookbook we we uh, use that too so there's my soap oh and I have a fly on my soap how inopportune to be showing a live stream of my soap and the fly gets in here isn't that always the way all right now you know that I went to upstate New York and I was going up there for my 50th high school reunion I can't believe it 50 years my goodness and I had a great time I had been in contact with a lot of my high school friends on Facebook the wonders of Facebook now you can look up people you haven't talked to in decades and uh, catch up so I caught up with quite a few of them before we went so they were prepared for this because there were some that I hadn't seen since high school and they were not prepared for this because <laughs> if you can imagine this being the last time you saw me <laughs> and then this walks in of course we're all in the same boat we're all 50 years later and uh 50 years and seven kids and you know, pounds makes a big difference you know so it was fun uh everyone was very kind and nice we all grew up thankfully I know some people say they go back to high school reunions and it's just like being back in high school again they all resort to their little cliques and and uh, being mean and all that I didn't have any of that at my reunion everyone was just as kind as they could be hello gypsy gypsy woman homestead now did you recently change your name because I knew another homestead that had someone named gypsy but she, the name gypsy wasn't in her homestead it was just her name okay let's see what i missed i don't want to not say hello to someone nick key this is eli from new york hello eli i'm from originally upstate new york way upstate close to uh, the benetton vermont border i've got my coffee all day says albany homestead followed your bathroom okay we'll be looking in there soon uh bobby I'm relaxing, having a sausage sandwich. Hope you are well. I'm well. G. Casper, hello. Yeah, the soap turned out really pretty, didn't it? I'm so happy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Adeline Marie Robinson. Hugs to you. It's been a while since I've seen you. Hello, Adeline. Ava, hello there, retired and prepping. Hi, says hi to Gypsy. I hope you had lots of fun on your recent trip, says Nancy. Yes, it's always fun to go back to your old stamping grounds, old stomping grounds where you grew up. My husband and I grew up in the same little small town. We met when I, we started going together when I was 15 years old. And we married when I was 18. And uh, this October will be our 50th wedding anniversary. So we've come a long way, it hasn't been easy. If any of you have watched my series, My Faith Journey, you know our story and how the Lord's been so good to us, brought us through a lot of hard, hard times. So if you haven't seen that, go to my playlist and look up uh, faith videos and my faith journeys and there's eight parts to it. So, I took our senior picture down because I got tired of people asking that, oh, asking that's paul but who is that <laughs> yeah you know that reminds me when i take selfies now and i try and find what i like i'll say oh there's what i like i look pretty good in that and i'll put it up on my page and people who know me will say oh what a beautiful picture who is it because <laughs> it doesn't look like me i said well you know i try to flatter myself you know <laughs> okay and Angela and Charlie practice modern homestead. It's glad she made it. <laughs> okay, and while we're up there, we went to a car rally or a, a vintage antique car show. Uh, some of you may have seen the video I put up on that. It just showed tons and tons of these beautiful vehicles that people have fixed all up. Some of them back to their prime. Some of them rubbed them up like roadsters. But there were over 200 of those cars. And the backstory on that is that a girl I went to school with, who's now just a bit older than me, uh, 
loves cars and she always has since she was in high school and she hosted this she's got a lot of land up there in the country and she hosted this rally or whatever they're calling it a shikar show and all the people registered and brought their rods and hot rods and uh, model t's and um, excaliburs and all kinds of beautiful things and we all got to go and just walk around the grounds and see them all. So I, I put that video up if you like old cars or if your husband might or your significant other or, or boyfriend or uh, brother or father or somebody, go have a look at that. That was, that was pretty cool. And also while we were up there, we visited one of the old swimming holes that uh, we used to frequent. Um, up in upstate New York, there's a lot of river that flows over rock. And uh, there's a lot of rock outcroppings and stuff. And there's this one place called Buttermilk Falls. And when the water's high, it's a regular waterfall and uh, falls down. It's not a terribly high waterfall, maybe 20, 30 feet. But it's beautiful when it's flowing and there, it pools. And so there's swimming holes there. And we, loved, we used to love going there. So we visited that. And right now, it was only a trickle. I was surprised because we had had some good rain. But it was only a trickle. So we didn't get a lot of good video of the water really flowing, but it was still interesting to see and, and to see the dropping and the rock outcroppings and the pools below. And to let you know, that's where I used to s swim when I was young. <laughs> Allie, thank you. Isn't it a beautiful apron? Somebody from Boston sent it to me. Some wonderful lady who showed me much more love than I deserve sent me this beautiful apron. Isn't it great? I just love it. Her feet and all. <laughs> the truth is, I rarely ever have shoes on in my house. I'm always barefoot. Or in slippers if it's cold. <laughs> so, yes, Allie. I love my apron. All right. But that car show was great. Some sweet rides for sure. I'm glad you saw it. G, G Casper, tell me what to call you. I forget your first First name. Just made a fresh cup of tea. <laughs> yes, retired and prepping. She gave me a beautiful apron. And I have my iced tea right here. Again, if you're interested in bandana grandma mugs, I have a sale for you. I ordered some more and I was able to get them at a little better price. So instead of 22 shipped, which I know is high, but that's what I had to do. It's a little better, 19 shipped. So if you want a bandana grandma mug that looks like this, I don't know if that's going backwards for you or not. It may be, but it says gardening, cooking, canning, sewing, crocheting, faith and family, bandana grandma, follow me on YouTube, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And Coco Noel did that logo for me. Isn't that great? She made me look good. <laughs> she did a great job on that logo. So I'll probably Put this on my Facebook page again so people want to order when they can. My friends call me Glow, and it is backwards, by the way. Yeah. How about this? If I turn the camera around, let's see, turn the camera around, and I put it over here. I bet it's straight now, isn't it? <laughs> there. Is that straight now? I guess it depends which camera I'm using on my iPad. Of course, if I use the back side, whoops, sorry, I double flip. If I use the back side, then I can't see what I'm filming, so I don't know if I've got what I want in this shot or not. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, yep, straight if I use the back side of the camera. Okay, I'll try and remember that, so when I need you to read something, we can do that. Now, my Facebook page is not Bandana Grandma, it's Susie Bandana, three words, S-U-S-I-E, B-A-N-D-A-N-A. -A -A. So if you want to join my Facebook page, you need to look for Susie Bandana. But those links are down below too. And uh, you can just click on those and go there. All right. Now I'm going to take you over to the table. There is another one skipping. I hope it's for you. Me jumping. Like it's not a smooth. Wi-Fi signal. But there's a lady not far from me who has a channel, much bigger, about three times the size of my channel. 
and she mostly does product reviews or um, store hauls and she does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. Bye Nancy. Um, thanks for coming by honey. Sorry you can't stay. We'll miss you. <laughs> and she um, goes to Dollar Tree quite a bit and she happened to go to the one in my town and so I saw some things that she hauled, some things she bought there and I went back to Dollar Tree to see if I could find a couple of those things and I thought you know people seem to like watching other what other people buy just to see what's available or what other people are I don't know why I like watching them so I thought I'll show you what I got at Dollar Tree so this is my haul let me let me turn it around the other way Point it down at the table. No, I did not buy melon at Dollar Tree. My daughter got that at Trader Joe's. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, I'm not going to be able to watch this, but I'm going to get in the shot here and show you what I got. Just if you're interested. Now, that other channel is called Only In My Dreams. So if you like hauls, go check out Only In My Dreams. All right, one thing I got was these letters. I could put them on a mailbox. I could put them on a folder. I'm just thinking, oh, there have been times when I wish I had some nice writing where I could either put our name on it or spell something out. So for a buck, I thought, I'll get that and have it on hand. And they're blue and they're pretty. So... I got that. And this is something that only in my dream showed on her her video. And I thought I would like that for my front door for the fall. Bless our home. Isn't that pretty? And this banner is, you could feel it. It's, it's like on top. It's a 3D thing. And then just, just a little plaque. It comes with a little hanger. And I thought that would really look pretty on my front door. And I might even make a wreath around it. So for a buck, definitely worth it. I was running out of pencils, so I got myself a big pack of pencils. And usually there's 16, but I got 24 for a dollar. And this is something else only in my dreams had showed, a metal ruler. How often do you see metal rulers? So I thought, yeah, I'd like a metal ruler. It's got a little hole to hang it by. And it's got metric and inches. So I got myself a metal ruler. Now some practical things. When I'm at the dentist, I always like his Lavoris. So they had that there for a dollar, the cinnamon Lavoris. And I thought there'll be times I want to use that. So I got that. This, this was my husband's find. He got the butterscotch candies <laughs> for a dollar. Uh, for my new bathroom. I got some cornstarch uh, body powder and I travel and I want to watch my YouTube videos on my iPad he goes to bed early and it's hard for me to hear him because I have to keep him so low so I got myself some earbuds into my iPad so we can listen <laughs> and then I I was walking down the candle aisle and I don't usually buy candles there because I don't find they're very fragrant. I walked down the aisle, I really smelled these. And I love vanilla. Mm, and these these smell good. And they're uh, strong enough that they got my attention as I was walking down the aisle. So I got two packs. I got two of them. And I got myself a little candle melt thing. You put the little candle melt up here and you put a votive or a tea light in there and it warms it and the candle melt melts up there for a buck. Couldn't pass it up. I used to like those I, and I broke my last one. And then I got these. They're like the fancy ones where you pull this thing here to unstick them after you stick them on the wall. And I got them to hang my aprons up on. My aprons I hang Let's see if I can turn this. All right, that closet right there, that's my uh, uh, broom closet. And my I have my aprons hanging on the back of that door, and I need some bigger hooks. Yeah, 
yellow hooks are just aren't holding. And they also had Dove Beauty Cream, so I can be beautiful. So I got me a dollar Dove. And I think that's it. Oh no, I got three more things. I got frozen blueberries, frozen peaches, two frozen blueberries and frozen peaches to mix with my yogurt and to make smoothies with. And I've gotten the blueberries before and they were really good. So for a buck, frozen blueberries is good. So I do recommend the frozen blueberries at the Dollar Tree. They were yummy. And you get quite a few. It wasn't like they were skimpy skimpy and that's why they were less. Okay, so who else shops Dollar Tree? Okay, Allie just brought the exact same Bless Her Home plaque. They had a lot of pretty plaques there. But I don't like, like glitter because it gets all over everything. So I got the one that didn't. I think that's the same reason I got that one too. She mentioned that it didn't have glitter on it. Of the blue color on your walls. I think it's storm. It was like four years ago I painted it, so I don't know if I'm gonna remember. Paint like a bear, or one of, I don't think it was Glidden. I think it got a better name for the kitchen. Storm, Storm was in the name. That's all I can help you with. I just don't know, it's been too long. Sorry. I know I'm done. All right, let me see what I all right, I'm back to where I was. Yeah. <laughs> and I also love watching when people take Dollar Tree, turn them into something beautiful. You know, like the plates and the cups are gluing together. I mean, I love some Dollar Tree stuff. I may try that too. Dollar Place is the only place I feel when our kids were little. We had, and I loved when we were, we had a few Dollar Tree and tell the kids one thing, anything they wanted. And they thought, wow, you know, we're rich. <laughs> when they're little, you can do that. My favorite white is decorated white with more. Okay. I don't know if I've tried. I've tried before because a nice white tree. Yeah. Dollar Tree messed on the table in the parlor and showed you what I've been working on as my husband drives while we're traveling. I need another sip. Oh, I don't know that name. I love watching the Dollar Tree meals at Jean Crisanda's. I tried Dollar Tree meals when we were traveling in an option and I said, let's just go to Dollar Tree and I'll see what they had. And they had these little tiny steaks and I don't know what was in them. And probably if I was thinking wisely, I would have thought this probably isn't the best food to eat. But there's other things there that are good. You know, I can't imagine. It just made me wonder how well the animals were treated that can sell the meat for a dollar. You know, I don't know where they come from. I didn't read the label. Maybe I should have. But um, you can get other things there that um, make good meals and are cheap. Uh, the bread. I'm amazed at the bread. The muffins and, and oh, that's another thing I got. I didn't show you. Potato rolls. I got potato rolls. I love potato rolls, like for hot dog rolls and, and sandwich bread and hamburger buns. Potato rolls to me are the best. Maria! Hello, Maria. Everybody, go check out Maria on Facebook. TCK, TCK Kid, the Concrete Kid. Um, Maria TCK. She's a wonderful person. I love her. She is out there with her personality and she does a lot of fun things. And uh, she goes through hard times and she keeps smiling and uh, hangs on to the Lord. So go check out Maria. She just did. A series where she she did uh, City Girl in the Country and she went to a rodeo and was working at the rodeo and she is from the deep city like where there were gangs and all kinds of stuff and uh, 
Yeah, it was fun watching her, and she loves homesteading. She found the homesteading channels, and she went crazy because, what, cows? Milk comes from cows? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't that big. Close enough. She she was very uncountrified and didn't know a whole lot about where her food came from or uh, how people could make their own, grow their own food, and she just jumped in with both feet and thought it was great. So even though she hasn't completely gotten out of the city yet, she's doing what she can to uh, to uh, be a homesteader in the city. And uh, she does want to get a homestead outside the city, and I believe someday she will. She's got the heart for it. And honey, I'm pulling for you, and I'm wishing you all the best in your personal life and all those things going on, and keep hanging on to the Lord. You're going to be okay. So, now we're going into the parlor, and I'm going to show you what I've been working on as my husband drives the car. I should be working my mittens right now because I'm going to the Homesteaders of America conference, and I have a table there, and I'm going to be selling my repurposed mittens made from recycled wool sweaters. And I don't have enough to have a table yet, so I need to get busy. Pardon my messy bookcase. It is what it is. All right. So, some of you may know I, I make ponchos. Here's a picture of the poncho. That's actually my sister Jody, the one that has the jewelry channel where she sells $5 jewelry, nice stuff. And she actually made this pattern. This is her pattern. She's quite the crocheter. And this poncho is made with uh, like a ombre blue where it goes from dark to light. So it looks like that. And I'm making mine with different yarn. I've, this is like my sixth and seventh poncho I've made. What they are basically are four huge granny squares that you fit together and then you trim them all up and it's got you put a, a trim around the v-neck a different color and in fact I think I could show you how I'm going to trim this. Let's see. Yeah. All right. This one is a brown with light specks in it. And I'm going to tr trim it with this. It's a light with dark specks in it. And it's fringe made of this, and it's going to have um, just a border on it made of this. So that's what I'm working on. And this one is gray. And it's going to have a light gray trim all the way around it. I'm done, just like the brown one. And I'm going to be bringing three of them to the conference to sell. Okay, so I still, I don't know if you saw, oh, let me turn the camera around so you're not looking at my yucky bookcase. I don't know if you saw on my Facebook where I was making the Swift, I can't crochet 20 rows straight. <laughs> One of the mistake I did where when you, you don't know where the beginning and the end are and you switch too soon and you don't recognize the first stitch. I've had that trouble buffering. It, it looks to me like it's hitting. Excited to meet you at the convention. How are you going to be at the Homesteaders of America conference, Chibata, conference in Virginia, Front Royal, Virginia? I'm looking forward to being there. Jody, this is my sister Jody. This is her jewelry. Okay, see, I'm still in my church clothes on. All right, I'm going to give my sister Jody a plug. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, but. That's what I do. I love my sister. And she sells great jewelry for $5. Every necklace comes with a pair of earrings that match. And they're $5. So if you want to, I'm trying to think where I've got her little card I can show you. Uh, if you want to see what she does, Friday nights, I think it's 730 Eastern, she has a live show where she sells all her jewelry. And... I'm going to show you my, my jewelry box I've got. Yeah, this, look at, how do they make this and sell it for $5, you know, with earrings. So it's beautiful stuff. I think, you know what, I don't have it because I had Mickey put it in, his, my husband put it in his pocket at church today in case I wanted to give a card to somebody when they 
would tell me they liked my necklace, I'd give him Jody's card. <laughs> but I think it's still in his... Uh... I'm going to show you the other jewelry I have, though. Jody Ma'am. If you just look for Jody Ma'am, go to her Facebook page. It'll say Jody Joanne Howes Ma'am Brennan Store. If you go Jody Ma'am, you'll see it. And then friend her and uh, she'll give you the updates of when she's going live and show you all the gorgeous jewelry she sells for $5. It's called paparazzi jewelry. It's really nice stuff. And I'm getting lots of it. My daughters gave me gift certificates, so I so they help me at Jody and they help me because I can buy through her. And then for my birthday in June, my my girls, I have five daughters and two sons, and my five daughters, I don't know if my sons got in on it or not, but they probably they collected money from each other, and they bought me a rest that holds a lot, so I could fill it up in Aunt Jody's jewelry. <laughs> So, let's see, what do we got here? Thanks for the shout, he's so pretty, he's so cute and chic at the same time, mm-hmm. That's for five dollars, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna take you down the hallway. And we've got on the door, I'm gonna show you some of her jewelry. I'm going to turn the light on down here so you'll be able to see. This is not going to be. And then I'll show you my bathroom. The update on my bathroom. Turning the, turning the camera around. Okay. All right, here's, you can see the jewelry box very well. But this jewelry box has the mirror. It's long. It's the mirror here. Move the fan so I can get in front of it. And it's got a lot. Look at it. Yeah, you can see it. It's got a lot to open the door. Ta da! I love this jewelry box. And it, look at it. It's long. Ooh. See? It's a big one. And then most of this jewelry in here is paparazzi jewelry. That Look at this one I wore when I went to the royal wedding in England. <laughs> they got fancy schmancy, they got casual, they got every look at this thing. Can you can you see this? Look at this thing. This is like if you're going on a cruise. Rings. Five dot whoops, this one's turned around. Can you believe I told Jody the royal wedding because it's so fancy schmancy. So there's the fancy kinds. And then they got cute stuff. Look at look at this. Look at look at this. If I can get in front of the camera right. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Five dollars with earrings. Earrings. They're here somewhere. Well, I can't put my hand on the earrings right now, but it did come with earrings. Love it, love it, love it. And they got chunky stuff like this. See that? Chunky black and silver. Five dollars. I wear this one a lot just because it goes with a lot of my clothes. Red beads. Five dollars. And they got this one. Look at that. It's pretty pretty rad this braided beaded thing love it love it. I could you know I'd be here all day if I showed you everything and then she's got these wrap and snap things in all different colors and they're bracelets they're made out of leather see and then they they come apart and what you do is you hold it you wrap it around your wrist Jody I'm not going to do this as well as you because I'm not the paparazzi lady, but let me snap it. There. You snap it, and then it looks like, oops, 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 there. It looks like you're wearing bangle bracelets. And they come in all different colors. I wear a lot of corals, so I got the coral ones. And then all these earrings. Some of these are separate purchases because they're fancy. And a lot of them, like these, come with uh, your jewelry. 
like these came with my jewelry. There were some, some fancy ones that came with jewelry. These were separate, these little dogwoods. But $5. Okay, I guess I plugged Jody enough. <laughs> there we go. So that's Jody's pop. And like my ceiling. Turn around, camera. There. <laughs> That's Jody's paparazzi jewelry and the jewelry box my kids gave me for my birthday in June. So they were helping out Aunt Jody and gifting mom with something I could use. And yeah, I got enough jewelry to start my own show now. Is there anything else I wanted to show you? I don't think so. Let me look around. Nope. I think I showed you everything I wanted to show you. Cindy loves banana bread. Let me go back. Okay. Okay, Nancy Kaiser Miller sent Jody a friend request. I feel like I'm at your home. Well, Maria, you are. Well, welcome to my home. Yeah. Love those jewelry boxes. Yeah, they're really, and I didn't show you. The bottom has drawers, too. And the top has places to put rings. Rows and rows of ring. Yeah, I got a lot of bling. I went from hardly any bling to lots of bling. <laughs> Between what I bought and what my uh, my daughters bought me. Oh, and when you watch Jody's live show, for every 10 she sells, she gives a piece away. And then if you share the video, you go in for a drawing to get it. So like last time we watched, she gave away 10 pieces of jewelry. So it's a lot of fun. So Friday nights at 7.30, look for Jody Malm on Facebook. I feel like Cleopatra. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Is it Friday yet? I think Nancy wants to watch your, your uh, show, Joji. Jody also... Yeah, Jody's listed as J Jody Joanne Howes. There's an S on that. She misses the Howes. Howes, Mel, Vernon. Uh, Jody Mel will catch it if you just get it. Hello, Cindy. Glad to see you. I think Cindy lives fairly close to me, too, within like a half hour or 40 minutes or so. Okay. You could be the paparazzi lady. Yeah, I know. Jody wants me to be a paparazzi lady. I just I just don't know if it's, you know, if I love the jewelry. I'd love to get it for less money than even the $5 by being a, Oh, bathroom update. Thank you, Maria. She reminded me. Very girly. Yeah, they also have urban jewelry, which is not so fancy. And it's like leather and, and watch Jody's show. She'll show you. All right, Jody, I did enough plugging for you. You better plug me on your Friday night show. You better plug me in, Dan and Grandma. <laughs> okay, I'm going back to the bathroom. I'm going to show you how beautiful my, my homemade soap looks in my new bathroom. And goodbye. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera. I'm sorry if you're getting dizzy. I'm going to turn the cam, turn the camera, turn the lights on, and get down to where you can see. Okay, here's my new soap right here, and look how beautiful it looks in my new bathroom. I'm going to have to shorten the legs on the tripod because you're getting in the way when I'm trying to lift the camera around. I know you're going to need Dramamine by the time I'm done here. All right, one more leg to go. Ta-da! Okay, now you can see my bathroom. All right, here's my new bathroom. There's my new vanity. There's my marble top vanity. This is what I splurged on. After 50 years of marriage, 
I said I'm getting the bathroom I want, just like I got the um, kitchen I wanted finally. And there's my, I got like a retro light up there. Okay. And I got to tell you, and Jody will verify that all the cameras make this tile look more contrasting than it is. The dark and the light grays are much more muted than they look on camera. And see, I had that bottle uh, bubble bath, and I love the way it looked against the gray. So then I decided I'm going to go pink with my uh, towels. And I need to get a pink rug. I just have a beige one right now. So, yeah, I've got girly things over here. Lots of storage. Yeah, it was. Now, the, if you don't know, the bathroom before was pathetic. It We knocked out from here to there was actually all this area over here. That was my, my closet in my bedroom. And we knocked out the closet in my bedroom so we could expand this bathroom that way. And it used to be tub, toilet, tiny vanity, and the wall was just on the other side of that floor vent. So it was a teeny tiny bathroom, and we just extended it all that way and moved the toilet. So now I've got a bigger bathroom, and it's purdy. It's got a gorgeous vanity. And that's why I made my soap that color, because it's so purdy in here. And I hope to make a lot more soap. So, okay, enough with the bathroom. That's showing you how pretty my soap, my homemade soap looks in there. I'm so pleased with it. And we got a new, new closet out onto the porch, the back porch, to take the place of the closet we stole from the bed. And it is um, even bigger than the closet used to be. So we're, it was a win-win for me. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, I had a Dollar Tree. You'll have to rewatch. I had a Dollar Tree haul. Looks like people like that. The tile looks good. It looks even better in person. Jody will tell you. She's been here. I lost her. Uh-oh. Made that Grammy. Am I gone? I hope not. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to sign off now. I was going to take you out and show you the garden, but it's too hot out there. Maybe they'll give me an excuse to uh, do another live stream in a day or two. So maybe, maybe I'll do that. Oh, i got more comments coming in. Better keep my eyes on so I can see what I'm doing. You're here. Okay. Hi, I'm Jane the Killer. French? Is that what she's saying? French? Okay. Deleted. Thank you, Allie. All right. Allie is my dragon slayer and my troll slayer <clears throat> so thank you Susie it's too hot for the garden yeah Bliss Bliss didn't want to go out in the garden with me either so maybe tomorrow morning I'll get out while it's early enough it's not so hot and I'll show you my I'll show you my squash bugs and I'll show you me killing them because I've got some spray to get rid of them because every day there's more out there trying to stay ahead. With all the traveling I'm doing, the garden is not doing so great. But I'm getting a few things. Got some tomatoes coming. I've got a lot of chicken in the can, and I'm going to be doing that, I think, today. I was going to live stream about it, but, you know, canning is such an important thing to do it right. If I'm going to put up a canning video, I'm going to have to make sure... I'm as precise as possible and sometimes when you're live you might make a few mistakes and I don't want to do that I want to be able to view my video about canning and make sure that it's done right so I don't mislead anybody so I won't be doing a live video on canning but I will put up one uh, probably in a few days canning the chicken that I'm going to can and making sure it's done right the bugs have been vicious everywhere Okay, love the, her new hair. Love her new color of hair. Looks great. Thank you. I wanted it a little lighter, and it has lightened up some. When I first did it, it was too dark and too red. Uh, 
I'm still trying to uh, get myself to the place where I don't feel I need to color it anymore. I guess the time's going to come. But for right now, yeah, it's still a little darker than I like. But we'll see. I'm canning potatoes and bruschetta today. Nice. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming by. Ellie's roasting eggplant and making purple strainings. Yum. Thank you, everyone, for coming by. And I'll probably live stream in another day or two. I might be doing some cooking. And I'll be putting up the canning video soon. Oh, and if you haven't, if you some of you keep saying you wish my husband would be in the videos. If you go to my Facebook page, you'll see that there's a video up that he made himself. He was actually, somebody's interviewing him. Uh, some professionals made it and put it up of his time in Vietnam, his experiences in Vietnam. So uh, if you want to watch that, I think it's quite moving. And uh, he talks a lot about his faith, too. So very rare glimpse of my husband because he rarely gets in the videos. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. See you next time really soon. Bye-bye.